Beautiful. Get some water before stream starts? Way ahead of you. 32 ounces in this bad boy. Ooh. Now 30 ounces. And I like how no one's questioning the fact that I'm wearing sunglasses. I like it. This is exactly what I wanted. I am obviously very excited. Very, very hyped to get to play this game. It's like the dodo from Animal Crossing. <laughs> it's because of the nose. I got that long bird nose. Sunglasses and the headphones and the nose. You forgot the nose, boy. Come on. If you don't know what the dodo look like, this is going to make no sense. So let me pull him up. There we go. Wilbur. That's his name. All right, this is my official submission for a Wilbur cosplay. Um, just saying, taking donations. This is a ca casual Wilbur cosplay. We don't we don't need the full uniform. Summer vacation Wilbur. It's a spitting image, like we're the same person. Oh my goodness, the glasses. Oh yeah. I want to play this for a while, and these are generally really, really bright. So I wanted to make it less of a strain on my face. I right, John, two pictures of the same person. Honestly, I don't know. I should take this down. Hold on. Dude, if I dyed my hair blue, I feel like it'd just be a disaster of color. Like, you got the red beard, um, my palette of shirts, and then blue hair. I don't know how I would dress every day. That'd be that'd be a disaster. This is gonna be so much nostalgia. I'm gonna do pink shirt. I, I just like the pink shirt the most. Alright, so if you haven't played this game before, welcome to Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game with the greatest soundtrack ever. It's so good. Oh shoot, that's not how you jump. So yeah, you have an assist. Um, so my assist is uh, is knives. But yeah, knives, knives is pretty cool. I'm just gonna wobble him. Get him in the corner. Haha, <laughs> stupid. Um, I don't would like to have a word with you on that. I disagree. I think this game is better. I'm not. I'm not even kidding when I say that. Undertale soundtrack is very good, by the way. Like I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not this in the game. It's very good. But also, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. It's just got that place in my heart. Oh shit, ow, stop, stop, stop. I was guarding, what? Come on, game. I disagree. <laughs> Look, Undertale soundtrack is very good. It's really freaking good. But Anamana Gucci, man, you're trying to dis- You're trying to- You're trying to- You gotta put some respect on Anamana Gucci. I'm just saying, bro. You can't- You can't talk shit on them here, alright? Like, they- They are my fave. Like, they are so good. Imagine being wrong. I couldn't. I can't imagine it. Like that's that's really that's really crazy that you're like so wrong on something, bro. Like you're just abs. What? Stop blocking. S -s just stop blocking. Damn it. Oh my gosh. There we go. Jeez. Oh wait. I can't hit him while he's down. There we go. There we go. Just beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Haha. <laughs> All right, so now these guys are gonna hop out. Bro Toto. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good, that's a good uh, alias name. <laughs> Since I haven't been hit at all, I'm basically in this mode where I just get to do this like all the time. It basically rewards you for being good at the game. Oh, I can do the dash attack now, nice. I'm just excited for y'all to hear the soundtrack. This game's soundtrack is so freaking good. I don't want to beat this guy up. Like, he didn't even do anything. I love the way that Scott plays in particular. He's actually, like, my favorite. I love this game, too. You and I can relate on that. This game is so much fun. It's it's one of my favorites. Like, I've been playing this game... Like, I, I wanted to play this game again since I was a kid. And, like, the fact that it's finally out again is so freaking cool. How you doing tonight? How you doing tonight, Maropa? Rewarded for being good at the game. Also can't relate. <laughs> Alright, come on, give me the- Ah, oh, damn it. He's so slidey like this. I don't know what to do. Ah, oh, shit, I got hit. No! No! Well, have you- So, ha do you know Scott Pilgrim vs. The World at all, Lemon T? Just out of curiosity. You have a lot to look forward to. At least in my opinion. Uh, Scott Pilgrim's really good. Just as a series in general. And this game is no exception to that. So, basically, you play as- uh, any of the characters in this game doesn't really matter, but uh, you play as Scott Pilgrim in our case, who is, of course, the main character. But Scott Pilgrim is essentially a man who has to fight this girl named Ramona's seven evil exes, and you basically have to you have to beat them to the death. Like you have to you just have to beat them all so you get to be with Ramona Flowers. Um, really good movie and uh, comic book series if you're interested. Like. The movie is very, very entertaining uh, if you're just looking to watch that. It's like, what, an hour and 30 minutes? Really short, super good, super fun. Um, highly recommend. It's it's really, really solid title. Um, and then the the comic books are like even better. All right, guys, we got to beat up dogs in this game. Um, I hope y'all are okay with that. 
We're just, we're just beating the shit out of these dogs. Edgar Wright really is a great director. He really is. I, yeah, no, I, he did a really good job on these movies too. And also um, the music in the movie like was done by, I believe it was done by Beck. And if any of you have listened to music by Beck, like he's, he's very good. He has an interesting style. Like he's not for everybody, obviously, but uh, very, very good musician. And yeah, he's, he did the music for the movie and like taught everyone I think there's a really interesting thing of the actress for Evie Adams, who we'll see later in this game as well. Um, and he had to teach her like how to uh, actually sing because she could not sing at all. So she had to go through voice training and everything to like sing for the movie. And it was so, that's amazing that they actually like did that just for a character in a movie. Like for what, like a 30 second scene where she's singing? Like it's, it's kind of crazy. Oh, it's very good. It's very good. Seriously, um, Lemon Tea, I highly recommend you go and like look up everything Scott Pilgrim related. Super good series. And yeah, like the whole cast of the movie is super good too, as as uh, Ro was saying. You can't just be like, this is great and then beat up dogs. <laughs> but I can. All right, snowball fight. Let's go. All right, come at me. I have the best snowball in the biz. It's called a baseball bat. Stupid. Imagine bringing a snowball to a snowball fight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so these guys are like, they're enemies that only, they really only throw stuff. They punch sometimes, but like, they, that's really it. And they're super annoying. Here, Agarai is looking to make a possible anime. What? Oh, that's so cool. I'm excited. That, if that's actually real, that's super cool. <laughs> he just threw it from across the stage and it still hit. Wait, there's a shovel. So why am I not using this shovel? There's some plantains, but it's not official yet. To visit the material in an animation way? Oh, you're like a Scott Pilgrim animated show? No way, no way. I thought you were talking like, what's it called? Like a, Edgar Wright's own show. And I was like, that sounds awesome. I have no idea what that'll be about, but you're, they're, he's doing a Scott Pilgrim show? That's super cool. I am I am excited to see where that goes. Because they're if they if they do it similar to the books and even add a little bit on top of it, it will be good. It will guaranteed be good. Anyways, there's actually a secret over here, so we're gonna go get that. <laughs> I, I did remember this, but I wanted to do the snowball fight because it's super cute. I think first we need to go up because... Yeah, so these give you like tons of money. This is the best way to farm money for this game. This this room is gay. It really is. All right, cool. That gave us a, we just basically doubled our money because of that room, that room alone. It's super helpful. You were, okay, so that's um that's the subspace. It's like a, it's like an interdimensional area that basically allows you to travel like a super far distance in basically no time at all. It's really cool. Yes, otherwise known as the secret base for the alphabet, alphabet Mafia. Absolutely. This guy's just jumping. And also the character art for even like just the bystanders is super cool. Like we're going to go into some shops here soon because the shops are actually really, really good for upgrading your character. So like there's these, the music in here is also like really, really good. Um, the late fees, we have to pay these off by the end of this because I think this is a huge upgrade if I remember correctly. I don't, so I don't know the names of all the characters in here, but yeah, um, so we're gonna have to come back here at some point because that's actually a really good upgrade to get and it, we're gonna need to, I love the fact that you can just pick people up and then just, oh my goodness, he just, he just demolished me. Oh my gosh, dude, he's just zooming. How am I supposed to deal with that? Oh, he just dealt 28 damage with two fucking punches, bro. This guy's OP. I don't like him. I don't like him. We gotta kill him. All right, he's dead. Cool. I don't like him very much. All right, let's. So that's the video store. Let's go into the coffee shop. Should I buy an item? Should I buy? What are you, what are you guys feeling? You guys wanna? You guys want a coffee? You want a tea? Oh, you want some tea? <laughs> Caramel macchiato. <laughs> Pilgrim. <laughs> Oh my, Julie, how do you do that with your mouth? All right, we're going for some tea. Uh, heart points plus 10 XP. Oh, it actually increases your XP. Interesting. Hey, it's young Neil. This is young Neil, everybody. Look at him. All right, anyways. Uh, then there's this part, I think. This is Lisa. Lisa is the best. I love Lisa. Um, you don't know her if you've watched the movies, but she's in the books and she's great. Yeah, no, young Neil is looking rather cute today, I must say. 
Also, how is Scott out here in the snow? I mean, I guess he is Canadian. So, like, he's just in a t-shirt. Insane, man, I'm saying. I'm telling you, Scott Pilgrim is insane. He's such a little twink. <laughs> Which one, Scott or Neil? It's important. Yeah, so if you do that, if you just keep grabbing them, I don't think they get up for, like, a long time. Oh, he just... He just hopped out of the trash can and just beat me up. All right, cool, yeah. I mean, that's just a surefire way to kill someone, it seems. Anyway, Sushi Bar. Oh, I, I remember this guy. I don't remember his name, but I remember his uh his design and everything. I want to see so bad today. Well, here it is. Here it is. Here's your chance. What can I get you? Something for the road? It seems they had Onigiri and I'm like, oh. <laughs> that does sound really good, actually. I just ordered sushi. So it always sounds good to me. It constantly is one of those things. Also, um, this is Joseph, I believe is his name. Uh, you wouldn't know him unless you if you read the books. He's not in the movie. But this is actually, um, what's his name? Steven, the talent. This is his boyfriend. Once again, something you wouldn't know unless you read the books. All right, so I don't know what these do. Um, smashing turnips, crashing the boys. Uh, Clash of Team Head, they're so deep. Let's buy, let's buy Crash and the Boys CD. Gut points, XP, speed up by eight. Oh, hell yeah. So yeah, by the way, um, these, when you buy items, they give you like buffs. They, they actually do stuff for you. Yeah, you want a trash can? 101 pushups. This probably increases your muscles. Um, stop wasting your time. Time is money. Ooh, actually, this probably gives us more money throughout the game. Um, XP is 200. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it just gives us more knowledge. Do you know anything about the Clash at Demon Head? Did you try to, did you try the section mark Clash at Demon Head? Can I pick up this guy? Oh, I can. That's good to know. I thought I couldn't because he's too big. But I guess Scott is actually the greatest fighter in the history of Toronto. So like, honestly, Julie is great. Also, there's Lucas Lee. I don't know if you guys saw him. <laughs> Julie, Julie is really, really good. Especially like the fact that they chose Aubrey Plaza to play her. Like, that is genius. It's such a good bit for Julie. The movie is just casted like perfectly. It's it's actually kind of incredible how well casted that movie is and I'm, it impresses me to this day. Also there's a secret shop right here but we can't buy anything right now so we're not going to. I'm just showing y'all. It's Wallace. This is uh this is where you get one of the better upgrades which is the bionic arm which makes it so you kill everything stupid quick. Like really really good. Um, and also these two are I think this one's really really good in particular. The speedy porcupine you move like lightning. Hey, man, I just got out of the store. Come on. Seriously, the whole cast is like actually iconic. There's so much of this game that I just kind of like remember. It's it's so it's because I played it a lot. Like I I did actually like I don't think I 100 percented it per se, but I did play it a lot and I did get the secret character. Like I don't think I honestly think the only Possible? Me yeah, you need to watch this movie. It's actually a must-watch. It's super freaking good. And I'm not—I'm not kidding when I say that. That's not. There's a little bit of bias because, like, I just love the series in general. But like, it's really freaking good. It's really, really good. Yeah, I think it is actually on Netflix. I was planning on watching it soon. Think about watching it tonight. Actually, I hate how many beat up dogs. There's just bad dog noises. Oh, I didn't—I didn't mean to let that go so early. I wanted to beat him to a pulp. Let's go, go down, bitch. All right, here we go, back through the subspace. It's like Mario, guys. All right, so this is the Clash of Demon Head. They're, uh, they're kind of just killed the whole crowd. Oh my gosh, stop, man. I'm just trying to get you to second phase, come on. See, so yeah, um, this game was released as like a, a tie-in for the movie, actually. It was a, it was one of those like licensed games but you know, most of the time really suck, but this one in particular is like really good. So, no, this is supposed to die. No, die. Thank you, geez. Those girls are so annoying sometimes, man. I do like how you can throw the cups, but they don't actually do anything. They're very funny. The best one is Shrek 2 and I'll fight to the death. <laughs> Wait, the best one is Shrek 2? Like the best Shrek movie? I would say so. Yeah, that's what I was saying. This is the best license game off of a movie. Shrek 2 is the best license game off of a movie? No. No, this is this wins. This wins.